Happy Monday, everyone. Today we're going to be talking about pangolins. Pangolin, pangolin, tomato, tomato, however you say it, it's still the same animal. What is a pangolin? Well, pangolins are really cool. They're classified closely to the carnivores, and they're from Asia and Africa. There are eight different species of pangolin, and they look like an armadillo that has a really long tail. Their body is covered in scales made out of keratin. And the keratin is the same stuff that our hair and our fingernails are made out of. They cover the pangolin from head to toe, and actually, I should say from head to tail, and they're not found on their belly. So their belly is completely bare and very soft and kind of hairy. They're a mammal, right? They have hair. Their diet consists of almost entirely ants and termites. So, what's in a name? Pangolin comes from the Malaysian word panguglum, which means roller. Because when pangolins feel threatened, they roll up into a ball, protect all the soft parts where there are no scales of their belly, and hope for the best. Pangolins generally give birth to a single offspring after gestation. That's between 140 to 300 days. It almost takes an entire year for a pangolin to brew up a little baby, and there's only one very special, very slow reproduction rate for pangolins. They have been reported to have twins, and the young are thought to be weaned for about most species in about three months. So when pangolins are three months old, boom, it's like they turned 18, out the door, bye bye some of the threats that pangolins have that threaten their existence because all eight species of pangolin are either endangered, critically endangered, or are literally on the brink of going extinct. So, what are their threats? Well, Chinese medicine believes that those keratin plates on the back are used for medicinal purposes. They think that your fingernail can help cure menstrual cramps that it can help women start lactating, that it's a pain reliever, it's protein, not a miracle. So science has actually proven, just like with rhino horns, the keratin from a rhino horn, the keratin from a pangolin scale is not used for medicinal purposes, or at least has no real effect. In African tradition, pangolins have been offered in bushmeat trade. And in some African cultures, pangolin meat is consumed to encourage a long, healthy life. Practicers of juju or voodoo often use pangolins, believing that they have magical properties. Pangolins are magical creatures, but they don't have magical powers. So let's get our facts straight and save these animals before they disappear off the face of the earth. Even if somebody were to consume products that are made from pangolins and says that these pangolins were farmed, that is false. That is a lie. There's no such thing as a pangolin farm. These animals are being taken out of the wild and they're being poached by the hundreds. They're put into very small bags, shipped off places so that people can use their dead hair. Yep. So, if you guys would like to help pangolins and save them from the brink of extinction because they're so amazing, so crazy, and a lot of us didn't even know they existed, you guys can help them by going to pangolinconservation.org or another great organization is the Global Conservation Corporation. Those two organizations I've personally been speaking with and working with and I think they do amazing work. Pangolin Conservation is mostly for pangolins and then Global Conservation Corporation is like a blanket for most animals that you'll find in need in Africa. Although Global Conservation Corporation their poster child is a rhino. Thank you guys for hanging out with us. I hope you learned a little bit about pangolins today. This month is Blue's birthday. She'll be turning the big 33 in a couple weeks. So stay tuned for her birthday celebration. Thanks for watching and let's help protect those pangolins. Don't buy anything that is sourced or made from pangolins. Do what you can to help support conservation organizations that do research Put rangers on the ground so they can prevent poaching and oh we just pooped okay and you guys can help us by helping pangolins thanks guys have a great day bye
You pooper. You're just a pooper.